The next question I have for you is, what's your best advice for women who secretly want more, but are struggling to get out of their way? Because I feel like that's something I've dealt with too. Um, I, I'm really big on, I have so many like notebooks and I don't necessarily even want to call them journals because sometimes I feel like we throw that around a lot and, you know, some people don't really like journaling. To me, it's more so collecting thoughts, right? So whether you're in your car or on your couch, I just think you should always have something nearby to just jot stuff down. Because sometimes you get really good ideas. And I think I think sometimes we are so in our head, but nothing in our head ever gets out, right? Maybe we don't talk to anybody about it or we have all these lofty goals and we don't write them down or we don't try to act on them or, or whatever. I think if you're, even if it's a, in the notes app on your phone, like I have so many notes and you can pin notes now too. So you can just have it ready right at the top um, to just type thoughts in there and, and whatever you're feeling at the moment or something you saw that you want to look into later. But I think sometimes we get in our own way by not actually acting on anything, but keeping everything in our heads. And then six months go by and that idea you had on your couch now is still just in your head. As opposed to if you had written it down somewhere, maybe you would have saw it on a rainy Sunday and be like, oh, yeah, I wanted to research about how to start my own real estate company or something like that. And instead of it just being lost in all your thoughts, now you see it somewhere. You're like, oh, let me just Google something really quick. And like I said earlier, even if it's a small step, you still made some kind of like progress as opposed to it just being in your head for the next five years and you never actually acting on it. So I think we don't need to necessarily say, oh, I want to go to real estate school and get my license in three months. Like, that's great. But like, what are you doing to really get towards that goal? What did you do today? What did you Google? What did you read? What article? It could be little, little things. It doesn't have to be this huge lofty goal. I'm going to the gym six days a week. Like, just try to go twice. See how that goes. And then, you know what I mean? Just start, I guess, is the best advice I could have. And give yourself credit for that. Like, Go to the gym twice and then go grab some coffee as a treat. Like you still did something. It's better than binge watching a Netflix show and just kind of like being sad because you didn't do that thing you wanted to do. Like you got to start somewhere. Um, And I think that's the biggest thing to get out of your own way is just like make some kind of an effort, whether it's really huge or super, super, super small um, to just get started and eventually get to where you're trying to go. That's awesome. I love it. (music) 